Welcome back to Delmarva Sports Insider. Before we continue our list, we've got to give some shout out to some honorable mentions who just got left off of this. Our first honorable mention going to go to Decatur's all-time leader in wins on the mat. This is hard, Brandon. How yeah. do we not have this guy on? Jagger Clapsaddle, this dude just oozes of confidence every time he steps on the mat. When he gets off the mat, he's never shy about talking to us and let us, letting us know exactly how he feels. <laughs> uh, we should also mention teammates James Piranha and Nico D'Amico, uh, state champions, and they right. also deserve a mention as well. Yeah, exactly. And they didn't even make the list. So in order to make the mm -hmm. list, got to be a state champion. <laughs> Absolutely. Pretty much. All right. Our second honorable mention going to Parkside guard Amanda Ballard. Look, Amanda was so fun to watch this year. She was a force and one of the top girls players uh, on that undefeated squad. You can't go undefeated just with one player. No. Uh, obviously, Jackie's really good, but Amanda is just as good. They really uh, complement each other well. Absolutely. I also want to give a shout out to Bennett standouts, Makara Hansen, Zaire Smullen, and Olivia Owens. Also three great players on that pretty good team yeah. uh, for Bennett. Those ladies could have made this list as well. Yeah, there's a lot of talent on the girls' side as well that we just can't get into with, with this top 10. But you yeah. know what? We could make our own top 10 with all the talent that's in, on the girls' side here in the Bay side. We really could. All right, my last honorable mention, man, is my guy. <laughs> How did my guy not make my list? Well, Trey, this was a conversation we had. It's it like, who are we going to put on there between Amanda and Jackie yeah. and between Jason and Antoine? I mean, this was maybe the toughest decision we've had to make. Yeah, why high, these why high junior four with Jason Handy? Hands down, one of the coolest kids I've ever covered. Le love everything about his game uh, and what kind of student he is. And just a young man in general. He's fearless in the post. And I talked about it earlier in the year. He's one of the rare guys in the base side. He's not really that tall, yeah. but he can get buckets with a post-up game or a face-up game. Yeah. Really rare in the base side. He's a three-time base side champion. And honestly, I've said this to some friends, when it's all said and done, he could have the most prolific career at Y High That's ever. That is major right when you consider the names that have come through Butch Waller's program. Uh, for more of the top moments in this space side season, we're sending it back over to the wall to Brandon. All right, thanks, Trey. It's that time of the week. It's our top five plays brought to you by, as always, Delaware Appliance. Let's get into it. This week, we Delaware count down Appliance. our top five you. moments from the Bayside side winter season. We're starting with a pretty ugly moment oh, here. Yes. The on-court brawl between Chris Field and Edmondson. That was the last moment this. of the Bayside sports season. The game suspended, crazy, never man. resumed. And Chris Field fell to Edmondson. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah, on to number four now. A little more positive news here. The Bayside North <laughs> was a mess all season long with four teams battling it out into the final week. It was Cambridge who got some clutch wins against Ken Island and Easton down the stretch to claim that honor. At number three, it was a fantastic girls season like we mentioned. Two undefeated teams both meeting up for the Bayside Championship. Easton Oof. with the senior leadership, Parkside with the young stars. Parkside winning the Bayside, Finally. Easton made it to the Final Four. Yeah. At number two, Decatur dominance, three individual wrestling champions, Noah Riho, James Piranha, and Nico D'Amico, along with Clap Saddle, like we mentioned. This team took home their second straight state title, absolute so force. Good. <laughs> and at number one, I think this was a great story all season long. This Y High team with basically a brand yeah. new lineup and they still took care of business all season long. Another state championship, City championship another yes. Bayside championship and a trip to College Park. Yeah, like you said, a city championship. Why high boys season was our number one story of the season. Stick around. We have one more winner athlete to get to the conclusion of our list when we return on Delmarva Sports Insider. My name is Jay Sean Freeman. I go to King County High School. I play basketball for the Trojans and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.